All right, so we're in 7.5, solving two-step equations. We're on page 342 in our books. Um, example 1, okay? So in example 1, I have this equation, 5x minus 6 equals negative 21. So here's the process that I go through when I'm solving a two-step. The first thing I want to do is move the number that is not connected to my variable. So in this equation, which number is not connected to my variable? Negative six. negative 6. How do I get rid of negative 6? Add 6. I need to add 6. Whatever I do to one side, I do to the other. Okay, and at this point, you guys should be able to really do these pretty quickly, mental math. You can use your calculator, so use your negative button in your calculator. Um, it's in parentheses, it's the third row down on the far left. Negative 21 plus 6, just to double check and make sure you don't make a simple mistake. What's negative 21 plus 6? Negative 15. Yeah, negative 15. So now 5x equals negative 15. But am I done? Do I have x by itself? No. I have to divide by 5 now. Divide both sides by 5, and now x equals what? 3. Negative 3, three. negative 3. All right, so my first step was to move what is not connected to the variable. My second step was to now eliminate the number that was connected to my variable. So that's why it's two steps. My answer is negative 3. Okay? All right, but I'm not done. On your homework assignment, it's going to ask you to check your solution. Does anybody remember how I check a solution? How do I check? Plug it back in for the variable in the original problem. So now I come over here to check, um, and I get 5 times negative 3 minus 6 equals negative 21. All right, what's 5 times negative 3? Negative 15 minus 6 equals negative 21. And yes, I want you to show that step. And now, okay, same sign or different? Same. same. same so what do I do? Add and, Add and keep. Negative 21 equals negative 21. And it checks out. All right. So I solve these, get my answer, plug it back into the original, show my checked answer, and I'm done. All right, so let's do this one. Negative 7b minus 7 equals negative 42. Just want to give you a minute to go ahead and get started on it and just see how far you can go with it, and then we'll walk through it step by step. All right, first step, what do I do to both sides? Just tell me, what do I do? Hold on, do I subtract 7? I need to add 7 because it's already negative, so I add 7 to both sides. And now I rewrite my equation. So what's negative 42 plus 7? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Negative 35. Different signs, subtract and take. Negative 7B. Guys, that's why you have your calculator, so you don't make sim simple mistakes. Equals negative 35. And now how do I solve for B? Divide by 7. Divide by 7? Negative 7. Negative 7. If it's negative, I have to take it with, with me to the other side. Divide by negative 7. Now, dividing two negatives, so is my answer positive or negative? negative. It is positive. B equals 5. All right, so that's what I believe my answer is, but I need to go back and check just to double, just to make sure. All right, so now... I'm going to say negative 7 times 5 minus 7 equals negative 42. All right, what's negative 7 times 5? Negative. negative 35 minus 7 equals negative 42. All right, same sign or different? Same, sign. same so I add and keep negative 42 equals negative 42 checks out. Alright, so you see guys, my check has three steps. Okay, so make sure on your check you don't just say, oh, negative 42 equals negative 42. You have to actually show me the work. Alright, anybody get that right before I had the answer? Okay, good. Good. 
All right, we're going to do one more. I'd like to see more people get this one right. Okay, so now we've gone through two. So you do this one um, on your own. 6D minus 9 equals 15. All right, so I'm going to add 9 to both sides. Add 9, add 9. Now, uh, now what's my new equation? 6D equals Very good. Now what do I do to solve for D? Divide by 6 by both sides. Divide both sides by 6. And D equals? 4. Four. Four. Who got it right? Awesome. Good job, guys. Now I just come back here and I plug it in. 6 times 4 minus 9 equals 15. 24 minus 9 equals 15. And that's true. 15 equals 15. It checks out. All right, so that's when, okay, so this example uh, basically showed us how to solve when multiplication is connected to my variable. In example two, now I have what operation connected to my variable? Division, division okay, and that's the only difference. I still know, I know how to solve when it's division connected, all right? It's just um, gonna be a little different. But my first step is still the same. So what do I do? What do I do first? My first step is still the same. Subtract 13 from both sides. So minus 13, minus 13. Very good. C over 3 equals negative 3. Now how do I solve for C? Uh, multiply. multiply by? <coughs> multiply by? The reciprocal, which is? 3. 3, over 3 over 1. Very good. Multiply by 3 over 1, both sides. And C equals negative 9. Okay, but I'm not done. I need to go back and check. All right, so negative 9 over 3 plus 13 equals 10. Negative 3 plus 13 equals 10. And then 10 equals 10. You think you can do one? Yeah, you can do it. Anybody have a question on this one while you're finishing writing? Anybody have any questions? <clears throat> All right. X over 2 minus 10 equals negative 10. All right, so go ahead and solve for X. All right, so what do you do first? What do you do first? Yeah, you add 10. Okay, add 10 to both sides. Guys, hush. We're going over it. Add 10 to both sides. Well, what's negative 10 plus 10? Zero. zero. Okay, so x over 2 equals 0. Well, when you multiply 0 by 2, what do you get? Zero. X equals 0. X equals 0. And 0 can be my answer. Because look, guys, when I plug it back in, 0 divided by 2 minus 10 equals negative 10. All right, well, that cancels. So, yeah, negative 10 equals negative 10. It checks out. You might have one that's a little, you know, tricky like that on your homework. So, anyway, follow the process. If the answer is zero, it's zero. Okay, that's what it is. Now, the next one actually has an answer. So, let's see who can get this. Raise your hand when you have your answer. I'm going to come check it. All right, let's see who can get this one right. All right, first step, what do I do? Subtract 7 from both sides. Now, negative 7 minus 7 is not 0. Same sign, add and keep. Negative 14. M over 4 equals negative 14. A common mistake that I see here is you forget that M is over 4 and you say M equals negative 14 or you say that negative 7 minus 7 is 0. So make sure that you're not making those simple mistakes. Now what do I do to solve for m? You. Multiply by 4 over 1. Okay, multiply by 4 over 1. Multiply by 4. And what's negative 14 times 4? Negative 56. All right, very good. Who got that right? Negative 56. Good. Okay, maybe you forgot the negative, so that would be half credit. Now we're not done. We have to go back and check. Negative 56 divided by 4 
plus 7 equals negative 7. And this would be negative 14 plus 7 equals negative 7. And yeah, that's true. Negative 7 equals negative 7. Again, a three-step checking is what I'm looking for on your homework. All right? And that's, that's it for example two. Now, in example three, I want you to go ahead and open your books to page 343. Okay, so when I'm setting up these word problems, okay, the first thing that I want you to do is I want you to find whatever the total is. Okay, so I'm going to read it, and then that's where we're going to start is with our total. It says your bicycle needs to be fixed. A mechanic charges $40 for each hour of labor, and the new parts cost $35. The total cost of fixing the bicycle is $95. How long did it take the mechanic to fix the bicycle? All right, so what is my total? $95. So that goes um, on the other side of the equal sign, 95. Okay, that's my total cost. Now, I need to figure out what part of, okay, so which number, which, which cost is not affected by the variable, okay? So it says the mechanic charges $40 for each hour, and the new parts cost $35. So which, which one of those numbers would not be affected by a variable? 35. The 35, right? Because the parts are going to cost 35 bucks. It doesn't matter if it takes 5 hours or it takes 10 hours. The parts are the parts, right? It's 35 bucks. So that's the number that is not connected to the variable because it's not affected by it. It's not affected by how many hours. It's just that's the cost. Now, what is affected is how much I'm paying him per hour, which is what I don't know. So depending on how many hours, that's going to affect my total cost. Does that make sense? All right, so whatever is affected by what you're trying to solve for, that's what's connected to the variable. Now, am I going to add these together or subtract them? Right? I'm going to add because these two costs together give me my total. I wish they would give me a $35 discount, right? But it's not a discount. That's, um, that's going to add up to be my total. Now that I have my equation set up, now I can solve. What do I do first? You yeah. See, this is the easy part. The tough part is setting it up. And you do have a couple of these on your homework. All right, so 40H equals 60. Divide both sides by 40. What's 60 divided by 40? Nope. Nope. 1.5. And don't forget to label when it's a word problem. All right, and if you understand that, that's everything you need to know for 7.5.